Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Billy Q, Billy Quarantillo versus Yusuf Zalal. Uh, Billy Q, 18-5, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. Minus 165 favorite, 35 years old. 5'10 with a 70 inch reach, 2-1 in, in his last 3 fights. Losing that one loss is Edson Barboza, caught him with the knee coming in. Absolutely beautiful. Defeated Damon Jackson after a very, very rough first round. I think Damon Jackson looked really good early on. Couldn't keep up with that uh, pressure. Ended up losing the fight. Yusuf Zalal taking this fight on a crazy short notice uh, acceptance call. It was supposed to be on the Ultimate Fighter. Thankfully, he's back in the UFC. Doesn't deserve to be in the Ultimate Fighter, I believe. This is a guy that his last uh, his last loss was Sean Woodson, but also fought Ililia Toporia and ate his punches. Is a crazy. And now he's champion, so yeah. And went to a draw with a Damon Blackshear. I don't think he should have been cut after this fight. Won three fights in a row. Now his last one, the guy had zero fights, so that is what it is. Plus 135 underdog, 27 years old, 5'10 with a 75-inch reach, 5-inch reach advantage. I like Yusuf Zalal in this one. I, I think his ability to mix in where he, want, where he wants the fight to take place helps him a lot. 10 finishes out of 13 fights, 3-3-1. Three, three uh, in the UFC out of seven fights. This will be his eighth fight in the UFC. Again, he's 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 been getting a lot more finishes. I mean he beat Edwin Chavez, who was six and two at the time. He's now six and five. So not great, but still. Uh, defeated him by strikes. Defeated Jake Child uh, Childers by strikes in the first round. Beat Darian Robinson in a kickboxing fight uh, in the second round TKO. And then won his last one by arm triangle. I just think he's a little bit more well-rounded than Billy Q. The one thing I like about Billy Q is that if you allow him to stay in a fight, he's able to find uh, a way to pull the victory out like in a scorecard, really. He's not a crazy finisher, which I do think holds him back a little bit. Now, it says he has 13 finishes out of 18 wins. Uh, he, do, he knocked out Kyle Nelson back in 2020. He had a triangle choke against Jacob Kilborn. Uh, did beat Gabriel Benitez in the third round, so a lot of later stoppages. Defeat Camilea Kurt um, in the Contender Series. Okay, which I like Camilea Kirk. Did beat Alexander Hernandez, so okay, sure. And then Devon Jack Damon Jackson beat him by unanimous decision. Yeah, I, I really like uh, Yusuf Zalal in this matchup. I think he does... The things that Billy Q does, besides uh, pressure, better than Damon than uh, Billy Q. I almost said Damon Jackson. Better than Billy Q. I think Billy Q is very good when he's able to dictate the pace and use his cardio. I don't think he's going to be able to do this with Zalal because Zalal will have an answer for what Billy Q wants to do. I like use of Zalal. He's an underdog in this one. I like the underdog play. And again, it might be another one where you sprinkle in a submission slash decision finish. For the law. Double chance there on FanDuel. Maybe check that out. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Let's talk about it. Peace.